Good morning, Heart Rockets, and welcome to KHRT News. I'm here with Miss Waite to talk about her college experience today. Miss Waite, what colleges did you attend? So I went to one university. I went to a place called Kutztown University, and it's located in Pennsylvania, in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. What is your school's mascot? Our mascot was a big golden bear. His name is Avalanche. It's pretty cool. What type of degrees did you get when you completed your program? So I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. Um, I graduated with a bachelor's of science degree in elementary education, um, and I became certified to teach kindergarten all the way up to sixth grade. What made you interested in going to college? So both of my parents, um, they went to trade schools. So my mom went to art school and earned her associates, which is a two-year degree. My dad also went to carpentry school, um, but both of my parents saw the struggle that they went through with not having a college degree. And so they used to joke with me that college wasn't, it wasn't an option, it was an expectation, but they were very, very supportive in uh, making sure that I was successful as I got older. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of encouragement and support uh, for both of my parents. And I always, I always knew what I wanted to do. So it just kind of fit into what my parents hoped that I would do, so. Did you live on campus? I didn't actually, um, I commuted. So what I remember from that is the university that I went to was about 20 minutes away from where I lived. And I had heard really, really great things about their education program. And as soon as I went to the college, I was just sold, I wanted to go there. Um, and so I actually, I, I commuted all four years. I drove back and forth, which was challenging when the weather was not so great. Um, and there were times where I wished I lived on campus just to be closer and maybe go to certain events. I didn't really get to do a lot of those things. Um, but on a more positive side to missing out on those experiences, I also was able to save a lot of money because I didn't live on campus. Um, I saved a lot of money in tuition and, and living in a dorm. Um, and so I, I had less money that I owed when I graduated. So. Were you in any activities or clubs? I was, um, but I had a job outside of school, but in addition to that, my junior year of college, so my third year, um, I was asked to be in a fraternity, which is like a, a club for, for college kids, and it was called Kappa Delta Pi. It's a educational fraternity, and I needed to have a certain GPA, which is a grade point average, so it had to be, you had to have good grades to get into it. Um, and I was really excited. I got to wear special, um, they're called cords. It's kind of like a necklace that you wear when you graduate um, to show that I was in that club. And we did a lot of volunteering in the community. Um, we would go to the local animal shelter. We would volunteer to read to kids at schools. And I think the other, other project that we did was we created like pencil boxes full of classroom supplies for students from communities that quite, didn't quite have a lot of supplies. So it was a really cool club. So I was also uh, working while I was in school and my job wasn't really a job. It wasn't really work for me because I also got to teach um, little three-year-olds all the way up to high school teenagers. Um, I was a dance teacher and so I got to spend a lot of my time with that and what was really fun about it was I got to see from three-year-olds all the way up to those 16-year-olds what grades and ages I liked to work with best um, and it was just fun because whatever I would learn in my classes at college for, you know, how to manage behavior, how to organize things, I would go to work and try it with my dance students. And it was really, really cool to see. So um, going to college, there's lots of clubs, but there's also that part about, you know, working and making money and managing that. So it was, it was a lot, a lot of fun. And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of dance. So it was like a club. What was the best thing about going to college? Oh, um, I think the best thing was that I was finally going for something that I really wanted to do. Um, I really enjoyed my education classes and 
honestly, the freedom and the independence that I had was both a gift and also a really big challenge because I, you know, I, I could do what I wanted. I didn't have to uh, maybe have the same roles that I did in high school and middle school, but I also had to be more responsible and hold myself more accountable to get my, uh, I worked, so I had to take care of my job. I had to make, to make sure I got to and from classes on time um, and commuting was another challenge. But I think the independence and the responsibility were, were really great, but at the same time, it made me grow as a person. Um, because you spend a lot of money in college. It's not it's not cheap. So you have to make sure that you're doing what you need to while you're learning, you know, how to be independent and not have anybody telling you what to do. My mom wouldn't wake me up in the morning. I had to do that. So it was um, exciting, but also it was a lot. So what was one topic you were excited to learn more about when you got to college? Um, wow. So I was really lucky. So I, I had a couple less classes that I needed to take um, when I got to college. So I had taken um, advanced placement classes in high school that I got college credit for. So it kind of opened up my options for some of the classes. And I, I really enjoyed being able to pick the classes I wanted to take. Um, I took some really cool science classes. I really, really enjoyed geology. Um, I took an art history class and I learned so much about art which it was just fascinating and I wouldn't have known if I didn't try it. Um, I really, really enjoyed my child psychology class just because I knew I wanted to work with young kids and it was really, really interesting learning about their different um, phases of their life and what, what you guys can do and what you're still working on and how your brains work. It's just, it was really fascinating. But I think um, in addition to that, the education classes when we were given projects and um, I, I took a children's literature class that I, I walked out of there with like a stack this big of books that I wanted to read to my future students. So there's a lot of really great classes to choose from. Is there anything else you would like to share about your college experience with our students? Um, so I do want to say while I was very determined and I, you know, I wanted to be a teacher since I was five years old. I'd play school and my mom would, you know, kind of, she always supported that. Um, my brother, on the other hand, wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do with his college degree. So while some people know exactly what they want to do and they just go for it, it's okay to not know. Um, my brother decided to change his major three times. He decided he wanted to be a high school teacher. He started taking classes and he just thought it wasn't really for him. So then he looked into some other classes and he ended up getting his degree in business finance and accounting. He wanted to work with money and, and do all that stuff. So I, I think what's important to know is it's good to have a plan. You want to be responsible and organized, but it's also okay to try different things and things may not turn out the way you wanted, but that's okay. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Wheat, and thank you, Heart Rockets, for joining us today. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday.